a question for both of you over Thanksgiving weekend to get six points against the teams you did. What did it do for the team's morale and uh, just uh, momentum carrying forward? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think even uh, going back to Sweden that the week before getting uh, closer together as a group, uh, I think so, some of it's the result. We, we play for each other right now. Uh, the winning habits, uh, a lot of good changes, things like that. Uh, the things that uh, winning teams do. So it's uh, that's the the process that we have to keep doing. Shane, your thought on that? Yeah, for sure. I was telling her just before, um, you know, after that game in uh, Sweden against Toronto, when we give up, you know, a two goal lead in the third, and you don't get any points about it. Uh, you know, Lark's, you know, the leader he is. He he, we're getting undressed, and he just said, keep getting undressed. But we need to figure out what type of team we're going to be. And you know, I think guys realize that, and we looked okay. ourselves in the mirrors and. You know, realize if we do it the right way, we're going to get the results, and you know it's really been working. Shane, what do you see with the power play? It just it went so cold there for a while, and now is it just confidence or? Yeah, um, you know, I think it's a credit to Tangs too, just sticking with it in the sense that you know he knows that you know it's out there. We just have to go find it, and sometimes you got to go through that. Um, you know, I think the quick puck movement, um, getting guys in certain spots, um, it's really clicking. Um, you know, obviously teams are going to you know defend it differently now and it's up to us to you know keep it going and adjust to you know what they're throwing at us after a what sorry yeah yeah that's that's big for sure but uh, again I go back to just the way we play we take care of each other it's it's uh, what it's supposed to feel like. You're you're not even worried at all on the bench, and there's going to be games that you can still play that way, and you don't find a way to get two points. But for the most part, when we do that, I think we're going to have a, a lot of success. Okay, you guys are about a quarter of the way through now, Pepe. Do you like where you're at right now? Then you just... well, it feels better than a week ago. It, it can change in another week, so it's up to us to keep uh, finding ways to to get points. I think the challenge now is headed back to uh, New York uh, where we didn't play great at all uh, last time and we uh, we proved that we can play good in Boston we showed it uh, last game after the first game wasn't good so it's up to us to, to do that next game again Jason, you, uh, you, you've been around this game long enough you know that milestones don't always come in wins how much fun is it to, to celebrate 300 and do it in the win yeah it's definitely good for sure it felt great uh, good plays by uh, the guys on the ice uh, today to, to get me open for a couple of looks and they went in and this guy Beamer texted me in the afternoon that I was two away from 300, and uh, I, I don't usually like hearing about it, but he will text me about all the milestones usually from the guys, and uh, it's uh, one that I'm glad that it's over now, and we can move forward and keep adding, hopefully. Shane, you mentioned Dylan's kind of comments off the ice, but it, both his plays tonight, both his goal and the power play uh, face-off one seem like a combination of kind of skill and will. And when he does things like that on the ice, how does that kind of drive you guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's lead by example with him. You know, he'll get on you if you're not making or playing the right way. He leads on and off the ice and little things you guys don't see that, you know, he's 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 really, you know, leading the charge for us. Um, I mean, just his work ethic, uh, n not only on the 4-on-4 four four goal, but in that face-off to, you know, give us the opportunity to get that goal. It just shows, you know, what type of person and player he is. Shane, what have you seen in the power play these last few games? What turned it around? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, uh, you know, quick puck movement, um, you know, getting guys in certain spots and, you know, just being confident in our abilities to, you know, make plays and not force anything, but, you know, move it around, get shots through and, you know, get bodies in front of the net. And, you know, I think another one is, you know, bearing down on our faceoffs and our battles, you know, it's easier to start with the puck than, you know, trying to break out. So, you know, it's just a, it was a little gut check for, you know, the guys on special teams and, you know, it's it's going good, but like I said, you know, it can it can it could dry up easy. So, you know, we need to, you know, be the team that we could be and you know keep going. I mean it's incredible. We see him uh, since training camp the way he just stays on the ice, takes uh, one timers, takes shots from everyone. Uh, we saw uh, how he's played over here in the past in his career as well. He's he's a great goalie and uh, you kept uh, you're only happy for him, and uh, you hope he keeps it going for us. Newsy had that really hot start, came off it for a bit, and now you've won three in a row against some pretty good teams over Thanksgiving weekend. Have you been able to really identify what the identity of the team is at this point? Well, our, obviously our special teams has come around, you know, getting a huge boost from our power play. <coughs> um, but our overall game, uh, I thought today was a little bit different. Um, we knew you know, one of their identities 
I think they lead the league in ozone play and chances for from the ozone. They're a heavy team, and it creates an issue. And um, there were some moments uh, it felt more of a grind than what we saw in the last two games. So I just felt like we found another way to win a game in a different way against a really good team. And again, uh, the spark from a power play was huge. A couple of significant milestones for uh, Perron over the last couple of years. A thousand games last year, now 300 goals this year. He's got a cup. What does he mean to that room since you've been here? He he drives us in that he has such a passion uh, to for to win. Um, he I, I don't know if I've dealt with a more competitive player. It's something where we are as an organization and how we're trying to take some steps. He was someone we really really needed. Um, and he's still pushing himself in the group. Uh, huge positive. When you look at your three goaltenders right now, uh, how much of an opportunity is Lyon to earn moving forward? Uh, good. Obviously, we'll, we'll, he'll find himself back in the net again. Uh, and today was, was an excellent game for him. It was much different than his shutout uh, versus New Jersey. And that he managed his game well, but there wasn't a ton of volume, a ton of chances against. Today, um, they had some looks. They had some quality looks. They had some zone time. Uh, he came up with some huge saves, some momentum saves. Um, so, really big spark for us. 11, okay, 6, and 3 at the... Okay, his calmness, quiet, handling the puck. Um, there's a confidence. I, I know, we, we, you know we go through some stretches. You get a little, a little nervous when grade A's are starting to develop. Um, you know, just you know, when a goalie's just seeing it, you, just, you, you, you feel like it's not going in. I think I'm feeling that, so... I'm sure it gives a little confidence to our group. 11, 6, and 3 at the quarter point. You've got to like that, I think. Well, I don't. I, I should be in the Bahamas. We're, <laughs> we're, we're there at the Thanksgiving. You guys always bring up being in playoffs at the Thanksgiving. Kenny Holland, I must thank him for that. Uh, so I don't know why I'm even showing up tomorrow. Our work's done. So, uh, no, of course, we uh, are happy with it. It's just a start. And I give our guys credit not to ride too high, not to ride too low. The uh, Europe uh, one point in two games was a very emotional low. We had to sit on it for a long time. And I give our guys credit uh, for handling it well. Um, and this is no different. This is obviously a high, you know, taking six points in the last three games. Um, uh, just managing our emotions, keep pushing uh, to get better because we still have a long ways to go. When the power play was struggling, Shane Gossespierre took a lot of that on himself. And then obviously you've seen in the, the past few games how he's able to, to operate a power play. What differences have you seen in his game since maybe that New York game is what I'm No, I mean, he's been great for us all year. Obviously a little different him running the power play on top. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I give... Alex Tang and Jay vary a ton. Uh, this is a look on the power play we've been talking about for a while, uh, but we kind of wanted it to play out a little bit longer. Um, and there's a reason, you know, this group, probably a little more simple, uh, very good at retrieving pucks, uh, kept some plays alive on the power play, even, you know, Dylan's second effort on the faceoff when it comes to goal. So, uh, but. Shane's been a big part of it. His his overall five on five game, like I've been so impressed. Like you appreciate the player. I know Jay dealt with him a little bit. When I say Jay, Jay Verity in the Arizona organization, um, but when you finally get a player day in and day out, you really appreciate what he brings. And again, you know it's very similar to our season. It's only a start. We're only I believe twenty games in. It's almost the quarter mark. Uh, but he's been excellent for us. Shane mentioned kind of Dylan talking to the group after after the Sweden trip. And I'm curious, when you kind of look at how you guys have responded, what are some of the things that you might see that we'll never see? Because Just staying on task. Yeah. It, was, it was the message from day one from the group. Uh, again, it's just you can get lost in that trip because it's two games over 11 days, and it feels like you know a showcase and not only did we lose the two games, it's the way we did it. Like We did a lot of really good things. We were probably the better uh, team through 75% of those two games. And to come out of it not getting a point, I just think our guys 
have matured a little bit to judge themselves on performance over outcome. And that was an example where our performance was not bad, not good enough. We didn't get the outcome. It was still different on the other end. Um, you know, when you win and not play well, that's important as a mature team to judge yourself, uh, again, on outcome or performance. So I just think it was a step for the group and a little bit of the maturity of, of handling that disappointment in Europe um, the right way. Thank you.